You want to intro it? What, you want to intro my channel? Yeah, what's up, bitches? I just <laughs> We don't talk, we don't talk, I don't talk to you guys that way. We that do was online. Oh, disrespectful so if you guys want to check out my podcast. Oh, these guys were only 30 seconds in and they're fucking leeching. Hey, I boof have on YouTube, what's up? What's your channel? Hey, guys! Stacey, you're a Stacey Diaz, but if you type in boom, yeah, guys, yeah. guys, we do, haven't even started the video and you already just plugged everything under the sun. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know? Do you know my merch. Sorry. Hey, be professional, Stacey. Look at the lens and not the screen. Oh, be professional. See, I already know that you're doing that. Be like, professional, Stacey, and let's uh, give before we receive. Guys, no, I can't even see this now. far. I can't even see. I need glasses. I don't even know what I'm hey, looking it's at. Land of, You're okay. looking at the, the land of 2019. Just imagine the most beautiful audience ever built on YouTube. The most intellectual. <laughs> okay, what are we talking about, bro? What's Dude, I'm for? trying to make a YouTube video for these people that have been rocking with me for years, and you guys come in here and start selling them. I've seen them. Which before. is exactly a segue into what we're talking about today. That was a good one. <laughs> that was good. Oh, yeah. I've done this a couple times. Ingresso. Like, don't speak that language. We don't speak that language. It is how you guys. If you speak Spanish, comment down below right now. One Show guy. Up. One guy. Show him what's up. <laughs> it's, I, me. it's me. I'm gonna go comment. She's hey. commented for her four fake accounts that she talks about in every video about how fat my nose is. <laughs> I know that's you. Oh, you do. I did an IP address check. Imagine Pico Rivera, California. Hey. <laughs> what's that even mean? All right, all right. That's that's like city. Ladies all right. and gentlemen, Salam Mike back with another topic today. We want to discuss. I got two people from all, all different different uh, backgrounds. Different, uh, different, a little bit. It's the remix. It's oh. uh, so I started Wait, not, this. This okay, is side note. What? We were. <laughs> you said remix, and then I was gonna be like remix to ignition. I was but we're not doing that. Yeah, yeah. Because I bet you would be like that. No, no. So I mean, I, I actually saw her working on the gym. All she was listening to was R. Kelly. <laughs> That's Shut weird. The fuck, she, she said. She said. We I don't, don't care. curse on this channel. She I said, said I don't care what he did. This music's amazing. This goes. Bro, I could <laughs> never. <goes. laughs> Y'all, no. So we don't curse on this channel. Okay. All right, what do we, what so, the flip do we want to talk about? I uh, like that. <laughs> what the frack? <laughs> what the frack? Uh, so Nadim is, uh, for those that don't know, has his own YouTube channel, has done tons of filming, editing for not only viral videos for multiple YouTube channels, but all of our Google Gate. Uh, Stacy D, also known as Boom Fam, is also big in the fitness industry, large Instagram, new-ish to YouTube, but killing it. Uh, the sister's done powerlifting, CrossFit, whatever you want to get into, uh, and puts out tons of great content. She actually just interviewed me and Nadim here, so check that out before, and it was actually a good interview. And I don't throw, I, I don't, no, 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 I'm saying you're a good interviewer. Oh, oh, thank me you. Me and Nadim are, oh, we're always A1. Oh, okay. But you did good, you did good. And, and I don't give out compliments lightly, so, um, uh, today I want to talk about something we were kind of chatting about in the car a little bit is kind of a morality of having an audience, having an influence, 100,000 something on Instagram, nearly 100,000 on Instagram, 30, 40, 50,000 on YouTube, um, let alone you've been on other people's YouTube. We gain an audience over time from creating content and hopefully being our authentic selves. It is a spectrum, but where is that line drawn on what we can sell, what we can preach, what do we talk about? I recently did a video about Gillette. Gillette put out a commercial talking about masculinity in 2019. They're a razor company, and that is one size argument. Hey man, show me how good your razor is, I'm gonna buy a razor. Yeah. Don't tell me how to be a man, don't tell me all these political statements that some people feel were too far left. Other people say, hey, it's fine, you have this power, you have this audience, talk about whatever you want. You earned it, Gillette. Uh, and I wonder where that goes for the individual. Uh, me personally, I talk about my points in the other one, but uh, you know, an example to switch it to fitness maybe, let's say you take steroids. If you take steroids, you don't tell people you to take steroids, you look jacked, you're oiled, you're vascular, you're clean shaven, and then you're selling a program saying look like me, but you're not telling them, you know, the, what do they call it, elephant in the room. Yeah. Um, Why do you keep looking at me when you say steroids? I was looking at uh, you because recently you put out a video, check it out below, see I'll leech oh, for you, okay. uh, talking about your steroid use. Yeah. Uh, I've never done any performance enhancing drugs, I don't believe you've done performance enhancing drugs. Um, <laughs> elephant in the room. Uh, <laughs> wow, you're calling him fat? Why you gotta do that? He also lost a ton of weight lately, shout out to this guy. Maybe we should talk about that later, but uh, where do you guys think about gaining the audience and your responsibility as an influencer, as someone with an audience, where your voice lies? Oh, um, so that's like a really heavy topic and I think that there needs to be several conversations about several different things within that thing you just said, right? So you said steroids and yeah. like automatically to my head came, oh shit, like, oh, everyone in the fitness industry 
is doing that or has not, done that. Not, not, not everybody. I'd say but 80, 90 percent. Yeah, the like a maybe. lot of really? them, especially so. the big guys. And I don't mean like the bigger muscular guys, but like. Yeah. I, or with 80, 90 percent, I don't believe, for, say, if you say the big guys, I think the people without the steroid usage and people that are just having like a natural physique, because it's like there's trends and everything and way people go and what people like. Yeah, so yeah. now it's like the, the skinny type, the good athletic people, which they probably can still be on. Yeah. Um, but it's about like how much money you have, how much you can flex and all that stuff, right? With the steroid usage, I'm on the side where uh, I took it because I wanted to, Yeah. Right? Human uh, right? Yeah, it's your choice, whatever you want to do. No one's condemning you from doing anything you want to do. Besides right? the government, because it is illegal, but besides <laughs> yeah. that point. <laughs> um, and like, so there's, there's other things. If you're in a sport that doesn't allow it, don't do it because you're a piece of shit, right? Uh, if the, the legality part of it is, it's illegal, but you can do it, right? <laughs> Don't listen to me with everything I say, uh, 99%, but listen to this part. Um, then it comes to the, the, the morality part, the, the stuff that you brought up, like, okay, I brought it up and I talked about it because I was like, I'm the type of person I am, it's like, hey, I'm going to do it, and if you ask me if I'm on, I'll be like, yeah. There's no reason of me hiding it, there's no benefit that I'm getting because I'm not selling anything to anyone, right? And so it's super easy for me to do it, and it's also, I'm at the point where I demystified the steroid. Um, to myself, so when other people, when you think of steroids, it's like, what the fuck, you're on steroids? Oh, you took steroids 10 years ago? That's why you're strong now. Which, it doesn't work like that, right? People are like, oh, it's uh, ingrained in your muscles and you'll be stronger forever now. But I, when I got off, I went lower than what I would, when I started, right? Well, I, I literally, because I didn't take the proper precautions. So there's a lot of things that you have to do when you take steroids. This isn't a video I stuff about steroids, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but with that, I, I'm not pushing on anyone, and I'm also not selling anything that uh, is a lie because I did get a lot of strengths, I did get a lot of size, um, and I'm not saying, hey, follow this program if you want to get like me. Yeah, you did yeah, them on your own privately when you were actually behind the camera more, yeah. then you became in front of the camera, started your own YouTube channel, and you decided to share that experience, yeah. which is a little bit different than if all of a sudden, you know, I'm 200 pounds right now, I get up to 230 and I'm leaner, and now I'm pushing this product, right? Yeah. right? That's a little bit different of a story from you as well. Yeah. But it can go a different way uh, with supplements. It could go a different way with programming. If if you just blew up on Instagram because you're very good looking, and now I'm selling a bunch of stuff, but I've never trained anyone in my life. Uh, good looking. Guapo. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Guapo, see? Si. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Or, or, or if someone, um, you know, I, I literally coached people in person for five years and then online one on one for two years before I even once sold an ebook. Yeah. Where some people, really good abs, really good Botox, yeah. blow up to 100,000 or more Instagram followers like this, and then all of a sudden I need to monetize. And one of the shortcuts they find that other people have done, right? They're playing the parrot, they start selling a program. Right. Yeah. right. That's, that is, that's, the steroids is a little more extreme, yeah. but that's a little more normal. More power to you, but then there comes the point of, are you lying to the people? What do you actually know? What did you obtain yourself? And what are you putting out there? Or how many people, for example, because I personally know somebody who I used to work with in a certain company, right? And no shade thrown because I ain't judging nobody. But um, this person was the face of the company and her husband was writing all the programs. And she was sick. Like, there is someone who is very reliable sure. writing programming, who has the knowledge. And she looks really fucking good because she does the program, because she looks good genetically, whatever the case may be. She's just the face of the program. Yeah, yeah. And she's out here, like, signing little notes, saying thank you so much but her husband was the knowledge is doing the you have a good program did he train her uh i think let's so. just say yeah. yeah then you know to me and morality is on you it's on me it's on you and it's on you i gotta go to bed at night being happy and, and with satisfied yourself. with what i did with work and life so in that case me you're okay i'm down yeah i'm down yeah. you're following the program that you're selling or at least you believe in it yeah if you believe in it then you're not you're not you're not lying. Anymore. Okay, so now let's I'm take. Because I'm on the same way with. But let's take like deceit. Hold on, yeah, let's yeah, take that same scenario. Hold yeah. on. So let's say the same girl was a. We said no snapping. We said no cursing. That's how I talked. But yeah, let's take listen. it over, boys. Listen, Watch out. <laughs> listen, no, for real. Okay, let's say that she's not married to this guy, yeah. and she just found this program Horror. on Google. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, she found. Connor, this, edit shut, that out. Shut the front door. Okay, so let's say she found this program on Google and she's like, hey, I wrote this yeah. and here's this. And like, she starts selling that program yeah. she found on Google, she just copy pasted it. Is that the same thing as her husband giving it to her? No, no. I, I believe that's morally wrong both ways because one, she's not following the program. No, and she's two, not following it, but she just found it on YouTube. Oh, okay, well then it's morally it's wrong. One way it was stolen, which which is another very common thing. You know, I, we, everyone, it sucks. I've talked about this too. People are like, hey, I'm Mike and I'm on Instagram and I'm authentic. Well. 
MFers, we're actually being as organic as we can here. Uh, that happens all the time. It's happened to my companies, it's happened to my friends' companies, it's happened to multiple you know, uh, powerlifting and really good coaches, either a client or someone else has stolen their program and tried to sell it. So that's wow. not uncommon. Um, and, and I, because one, it happened to me, and two, just my morals of, of what's maybe right and wrong in this world, I think that's highly wrong to steal from somebody else and sell their product. So what's yeah. the difference between her taking the program from her husband and her taking it from Google? Well, the one, husband, one is a mutual business yeah. benefit, and two, you, you, when you're married. Yeah, it's organic, and you, it, that's the same as Nadim was bringing up. Is Nadim is, uh, works with Kaizen. Uh, he, he, he promotes he our programs program. because we coach him and he follows our programs, and he believes in me, Bart, and Omar's program. Yeah. He believes in our knowledge over the years to gather it, so he's selling that. Rather than him stealing someone else's program, whether he believes in it or not, maybe he kind of believes in it for some quick cash. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. This you disagree or you agree? No, I agree with you guys. Oh, I was right. just playing devil's advocate because I was like, <laughs> let's sing. Uh, so then what about supplements? Okay. Um, supplements is another thing that comes up a lot. Uh, the steroid one, I think we're all kind of on the same page yeah. with. Uh, that The stealing of programs, maybe we're all on the same page <laughs> with. Uh, supplements, for me, I've never had a supplement sponsor. Yeah. Um, I don't take supplements. I, I, do. I, I enjoy one. a lot of coffee. I enjoy a lot of caffeine. Um, I've taken every supplement under the sun for seven years, from age 18 to like yeah. my late 20s. I tried everything. I spent thousands of dollars, and my best lifts, the time I looked the best, was purely on coffee and food. Right. So then I'm, I'm not anti-supplements because there are some things out there that work, but for me, I didn't want to write my name off to the Illuminati cash a little check and sell a protein. Well, but I think for many, that's the first sponsor they get in the fitness industry. I think it's, it's kind of like you're saying, it, it worked for you, but there's other people that do believe in it. Because for me, it's like I need pre-workout because it is a placebo. Sure. And I need the placebo to actually- Or the caffeine. Add, or the caffeine or whatever it is, right? Um, I'm not gonna take a supplement sponsor until I've been taking that supplement and actually believe in, in everything besides that. But I'm also smart enough to know that um, I can achieve the same exact results without it, you know, and it comes down to your training and your diet, your sleep, all these other things. And it might have an effect on you, I think 0.1%. Sure. Well, okay, so I can say this. I have a supplement company and guess what, Beach? I had never tried their stuff until after I signed with them. Yeah. And I can be honest and real about that, but that doesn't mean that my ethic, like my morals are any less than yours, right? Because the way I saw it was, I was like young in the Instagram game, right? Like 21. what I mean. No, no, no. What I, not even by age. I mean, like following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. And then this was my first sponsor by salary. So this was the first sponsor that said, "We're gonna give you a check monthly." Yo, it's hard. Right. It's hard. You it's get a little hard. following, and someone's like, "Hey, bro, here's five hundred or a grand a month." Right. And, and, and so, all you have to do is post once a week. Like, right. Wait, wait. But with the whole thing, it, it come, kind of comes back to what we're talking about about like you getting a program that you you don't actually run and stuff. It's it's in the same thing. And we're not talking shit on these people. We're just spreading the light. And right. it's, it's like if this is one of you people. Um, that are you people this. don't judge my community. No, no, but say, but say this is uh, one of you guys and stuff. Like, the only thing we're saying, we're not saying like fuck these people, it's um, because technically you did the same thing we're talking about, right? Bitch, I'm trying but, to tell you guys, <laughs> okay? No, right, I'm not saying, so, I'm not saying anything. I'm, so, I, I just, no, I just want to pretext this by saying we're that's B I S H, we're not cursing right, YouTube, don't demonetize me. We're not, we're not talking uh, uh, poo poo, no one specifically, <laughs> but, we're not saying anybody's yeah, sure. no, no, not, sure. not, not even saying anything specific, the story. specifically. I'm just saying, yeah, just to put it out there, uh, whether you are or not doing this, you can still become better, yeah, like, right. And so, like, what I'm saying is at the time. I didn't know any better. And so I was like, yeah, wow. I signed and here's my contract and now I'm getting a check and here's the supplements. Okay, yeah. I tried the supplements and I was lucky, blessed enough to say, oh shit, I actually like this. Oh, oh ish. Oh ish, I actually like this. <laughs> and it's something that, like for example, I've always taken pre-workout. So I was like, I've always taken pre-workout, now I'm gonna get it for free, thank God. And now I get the pre-workout and I actually like it. Now, if I wouldn't have liked the supplements, yeah. then I would have been screwed. Now, years later, I know that. And so now I won't sign a contract yeah. until I have tried the supplements or whatever yeah, product yeah. it is. You know, like we've talked about Kaizen and you're like, hey, let's get you on. And I'm like, let's get me on. Let's let me try the program yeah, before yeah. I tell my followers that this works because I know that what I say has weight. My word has weight, and the only thing I have over the people who watch me is my word. Yeah, and there's layers to it. Uh, so you saying, uh, you hypothetically, saying, I like this protein shake, and I take this protein shake, is also, to me, very different than, this protein shake built this. Yeah. I work out a little bit, but this protein shake built this. A lot of this pill will burn fat. 
this drink will make you big shoulders. Right. That's a big difference than, hey, this is part of my daily routine. Yeah. You guys can try it out. And I like this. It tastes good. And now an actual supplementation with the word is. For sure. Right. Like, this protein powder didn't build this, but hey, this protein powder is very low in uh, carbs, yeah. uh, high in uh, protein. Uh, it's better than some others that are yeah. full of calories. I like how it tastes. I like right. how it tastes. Yeah. Uh, it helped me achieve uh, my goals by making me able to hit my protein and not be right. And something a lot. right. And something you can always see that I started doing on my Instagram is I'll always hashtag ad because that way you know well, you have that to. that yeah. well so I didn't prison. well I didn't really knew I had to. Knew. <laughs> I didn't. No. Uh, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. So like once I said, okay, now my followers know that I'm getting paid to post this. Yeah, yeah. And that you know that yeah, I do like the product because I'm not lying to you, sure. but. I am getting money to post this. So here's going even deeper, you know, and I don't think there's an answer to this, but we each hold each other responsible or should as a community of content creators because as soon as one group starts to do something, like hypothetically sell a program or a body based on steroids, well now that 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 hurts me trying to sell a product that I truly believe in that I spent 10 years gathering the knowledge on how to write a program, yeah. right? Because I don't look as good as that guy. Yeah. And maybe even Nadim doesn't, he follows my same practices, yeah. right? But so now what happens, right? And, and I, it is a free market, and this yeah. could go real political real quick, we're not gonna go there, but um, whether it's a free market, how we should regulate things, but I do think, uh, which is leading to the next topic, that each influencer, content creator, person with an audience on the internet has a responsibility out of them. One, to stay true to yourself, hopefully, but two, to stay true to your audience and, and, and be have some kind of moral. And that's gonna be judged individual. I've said in the past, I think everyone over 5,000 followers should take a PR class, a public relations mm -hmm. class. Because I've seen many responses on Twitter, many responses on Instagram, which is another conversation we were talking about. People being rude, people not knowing how to handle the situation, blowing up, maybe sharing too much personal information, maybe sharing too little, or whatever it might be. Where do you guys kind of stand on that, on maybe not what you share, but how you handle negative or positive response? In okay, some of so for example, I can, oh, like I'll go first and yeah. then I'll let you go. Like, okay. I am fire as fuck like and I don't mean like hot which I am but I mean like I like to snap at people <laughs> I do and so when people are rude which they can be very yeah. rude on the internet before I had like 70 thousand and below bitch I was fighting back in the comments <laughs> like I really was yeah. and then when I started making money I was like, all right, maybe I need to be a little bit nicer. And I was like, you know what? You're not worth my time. Instead yeah. of like, you know, no, I was literally hold, hold typing. I was literally typing. You're not worth my time. Bye. You know? And so once I hit. <laughs> They're really going to want to follow you now. No, no, no. Get all these I'm keeping it real with you guys. You know, once I hit 100 and up and I was living off of social media 100% where I was like, I can lose money. I can lose my pay. Like, you know, then I was like delete and block yeah like i have to take the high road maybe i have to know yeah. that i'm not gonna change and this has taken therapy this has taken ted talks this has taken like plenty of different talks with people who have done this for a long time to say hey how do you do it because i'm struggling with it yeah and once you tell me like hey you know maybe try this and i'm like okay like i'll try it you know and the peers that have done it before us to say like, okay, they did it this way and now maybe I can do it this way because I have learned that this is a business. And once you start to treat it like a business, you customers ha like always right. Yeah, yeah. At least the ones paying and buying your shirts and buying your things and stuff like Not that. only a business, but if you want to do it for a long time. There's a lot of people that were real hot, made five videos and now they're not doing anything. So whether you whether you are making money, uh, which hopefully the goal is for a lot of people because this is our full-time job or, or if it's not, the goal is to do it for a long time. Right. Anything we enjoy, you want to do for a long yeah. time. So uh, if you want to be a long, around a long time, you can't tell everybody to F off that yeah. doesn't like your content or yeah. tell them to F off if, if they say I have a big nose. Yeah. Um, how about you, Naz? Because you've been on both sides. You manage a lot of YouTube channels with big, bigger followings than all of us. So, uh, literally the biggest. Yeah. The fitness. yeah. yeah. So uh, what have you seen? What do you do? Um, well, the biggest thing I think I, I say is like people are going to come and go. Right, you see these people that are say like us, or oh, we put out actual knowledge, or for you guys like say Kaizen and I, we talked about this on a on the Bible Talk Show where I said you guys bring actual knowledge, you guys do the research, and you guys keep that. But it's like you guys won't see the immediate uh, say monetary growth or size growth, but you guys will keep yourselves in the game and grow constantly throughout the the course of this whole game, right? right. Then the other people that come, the, the quick money, the quick money grabs, they come and go. But then as people get older, they get also smarter. Right, so it's like the same thing I was kind of saying earlier. Like you, 
you were younger in this game, so yeah. you, you had to make the mistakes and grow. And we're not saying this to like condemn you guys, but also, hey, at least we've been through the mistakes, so maybe you could take from it. But you're gonna go through them yourself, even though you hear us say this, yeah, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, but now on our side, in terms of like just deleting comments and doing that, it's like you, you get two sides because one, you could delete a comment, right? And that person can screenshot it and be like, look, I wrote a, this and he deleted me, oh, what a pussy. But then at the end of the day, other people are going to see that guy is kind of dumb. They might have their dumb yeah. friends that are like, oh, yeah, that guy's yeah, a pussy. Funny. But he's out of your life and now he doesn't get to see your shit. It's going to affect him more than it's going to affect you. Yeah. Right? And it's, uh, th that's the end result. You, you have to judge whether it's worthy of being blocked. If it's something that you can respond to, just block them, right? If it's something you can let pass or like make a joke out of, or like sometimes like with my stuff, um, if someone's like, uh, you're fat and ugly, I'd be like, bro, I have a mirror. You know, and it's a yeah, funny yeah, response yeah. that you could do back and forth. No, I'm similar like that. If someone comes at me, I'll give them an honest answer. Yeah. Like, hey man, you're- But this, this is also guy. how I do it. Sure, sure, Other sure. people could take it in the wrong way, and I'm just like, there's, like kind of what I was saying, you're, you should know your worth and know that you're more value and know that you shouldn't let other people cause stress in your life. Right, and so a lot of times something that we have to take note of is these people see us on YouTube videos, on Instagram with these followings and what do you do for work and all these things and they don't realize, they think we're getting a lot of attention. So they think this person must have a perfect life because yeah. she gets to stay at a home big ego. and work out and not do anything and get money. So then they go and then they're like, this and this and that about you, right? So I've been trying a different approach. I read the four agreements, bitch. I'm like, I'm like really trying my best life. Yeah, like I'm really trying to live my life, like my best life, you know? And so I've been trying to be more positive even towards the people who are negative, right? So I got a comment the other day and like this person said, um, I posted my seminar, so I'm having a seminar, right? And I talk a lot Another about plug. emotional health. <laughs> no, not even, I mean, go on my Instagram and check it out. But um, for real, like this person said and commented like, well, hopefully your past doesn't come back and bite you in the ass. Now I've been on the internet since I was like 15 years old and I'm 27 now. And I wasn't always this emotionally smart, I can say. And I've said some stupid shit throughout my life. That's happened a lot in uh, pop culture right now. Right, things yeah, I regret. Yeah. I mean, nothing like, sure, sure, like sure. that. But you no, know, no, 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 no. Some people would just say one offhanded joke on Twitter. And they're getting condemned now right, 10 years right. later. Yeah. So, you know, when that happens, so like I saw that and I was like, oh shit, he posted it on my seminar. That means a lot to me. And it's something that I love and I've been working on. So then I replied to him in, in a very like kind manner. And I was like, hey man, thanks for the heads up. Like, do you mind telling me what it is? Because I don't really know what you're talking about so I can fix it and address it. And he then replied and then he deleted his comment. So I went on his DM and this is like further than I had to, you know, but I went in the DM and then I was like, Hey, like, I really appreciate you looking out for me. He wasn't, he was probably trying to throw shade, yeah. but I was like, I appreciate you trying to look out for me. And if you can tell me what it is, like, I would really, really appreciate it. Thanks. You know? And then he replied, he was like, Hey, I was just trying to play devil's advocate and just, you know, be annoying, but I don't know that there's anything, just like watch your back. And I was just like, Thanks, bro. Thank you. Like, I appreciate it. And whatever you found, I even went a step further. And I was like, if you did find something and it offended you personally, who you are as a person, my bad. And yeah. I'll do better. Yeah, yeah. You I know? A lot of it comes down to your own insecurities and just seeing people yeah. get things. But the, it's you have to put yourself in their shoes. But I think with this game, since it's so new, you people don't understand that. There's... Like, like even just in the sense of like, oh, like, hey, like when people ask me, what do I do? Oh, like primarily I work on YouTube. And they're like, oh, they think less of me. But I'm like, you don't know, I could be making 20 times the amount you make in a year and then a few months. You know? But they and don't not, need to know. They, well, that's the thing. They don't need to know, but in terms of what they put out there and what yeah, their vibe yeah. is. Because it's new. Because people think new, like, right? oh, you're, you're, you're playing video games on the internet for a living. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So they, they, but then the, Which I do. The side of bringing that up is like, it's, this isn't just a thing that we're just like, hey, we're just gonna sit in front of the camera, we talk for a few minutes, and we just get the shit ton of money. Right. This is years of work, of struggling, of having to work jobs and do this on top of it. You, every single person out there can do the same shit that we're doing, but you guys are choosing to hate. Not saying you guys specifically, but the people that hypothetically. are- Hypothetically. Yeah. like the, these people that uh, choose to hate, which they're most likely trying to put YouTube videos out too. They're like trying to grow their Instagram, but they see the, the people above them and they like to hate anyone above them unless they say have a direct connection or like their videos specifically. Um, even for them, like to hate, but I think 
you guys don't understand the actual process. Like today, we had to be up early, you had to get on a flight, you had to come down, get dressed, we had to shoot in all these different locations, in the sun, in the rain, uh, in whatever condition it is. On top of that, we had to go film two YouTube videos, which you, now you gotta edit, and then after this, we had to go back to another shoot, and then from that, we have all these other videos to edit. Yeah. Plus, I already have all my other content for uh, my channel. I have uh, uh, three other channels that I work for um, that aren't specifically tied to just, just my own channel that I can right. be late on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, those things that I make money off of that have schedules, I can be late on myself, but that's also prolonging my success. Yeah. So, but I don't want that to happen, so I gotta do that on top of all this other stuff. So it's like... Friday's my day off. It's Friday. Yeah. I take Friday's off work. Yeah. I flew down to LA. There, there, for us, there is no nine to five. Right. Like we Our work uh, is done when we say it's done, but that can lead you and bite you in the ass and saying like you're you don't do enough work to grow and then that's when you can become Dude, spiteful yeah. there's so many different aspects but it's like i feel like sometimes i daydream about going to work at a regular job because i can have the time off when nobody's going to call me after 5 hey, p.m shut it down. Uh, i can go out and hang out with my friends but i fucking love my life i get to create the content i get to create i have to work 10 times harder than i ever did in my life uh but now it's surrounding me with people that are like-minded right so i do want to say like we work really hard but we're not saying that our lives are harder than yours. Like, I definitely think that there is no whose life is harder. No. And being a YouTuber is something that, oh my God, pobrecitos us. Like, we can never fucking be happy. I literally go to sleep thinking about what videos I'm going to make. I have wow. to edit. I have to put something up. What are, like, what are the people going to say on the internet? What are we getting I... Mike back on the channel? Because right. everyone loved them. <laughs> right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm constantly yeah. thinking about my job. And it's not to say it's the hardest thing in the world. But the thing is... It's simple, but it's not easy. Yeah. You know, it's very simple. Like yeah. we, we sit here, we edit and we upload and hopefully this goes somewhere that's yeah. going to lead to good things, you know, but I think it's like the general message is like, be a good person. Yeah. You know, from our point of view, cause this started with like our moral standards, yeah. like be honest with your following and be honest about who you are. And then from that side, from the viewer standpoint, like be fucking nice to people. Yeah. Like it, it is, like you said, it, it, w whether it's a business or not, it is uh, in a sense customer service when we respond to comments or see comments. Yeah. And I did customer service for a very long time for a multitude of companies in my early 20s. And answering the phone, it would be one out of a hundred would come at me with fire. Everyone else is nice. Hey man, I have an issue with this. Hey man, I'm trying to get this gym membership. Hey, you double charged me. Hey, can I return this? And they're cool and I'm cool. But on Instagram, on YouTube, the comments coming in are a lot more fiery, right? right? Because there is this barrier of the internet and, and it goes back to our job, throwing things out there, yeah. not knowing who's watching what's happening. And it goes to you guys. You guys have a screen, you're typing in it right now. Hey Mike, love the video. You guys are all subscribing and giving the thumbs up. And which checking out my you, channel. That means you really did like it, but that's what, you know, it, there is a disconnect, but uh, I the, more, the more we can be human, the, the better off. Uh, I think with the disconnect thing, it's people don't understand that we can see these things. Right? They, they only see us online and they feel like we're untouchable, but we never, you guys put that label on us. We're exactly like you guys, we're all yeah. humans, right? Whether it's uh, George Clooney, which they get billions and like thousands and thousands and thousands of comments and they're smart enough not to pay attention or else it can right. affect them. They can afford to not pay attention. They can afford to not pay attention. Uh, He's in his helicopter reading comments. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then, living room. Then, say, say for us. I'd be crying, bitch. <laughs> say for us, but we're putting out this content for you guys. Uh, some of them leave comments not expecting us to see it. Yeah, for sure. They leave it for other people to see, but they don't see that it affects us, you know? And then there's other people that just want to hurt. Then there's other people, there's just a lot of horrible people out there, Yeah. right? Uh, there's a lot of dumb people, there's a lot of people that just don't get it. Um, and maybe it's because they're young. And some people, I think, I don't think age determines how young you are mentally. I just maturity. think you just have to, it's a maturity that uh, it's a lot of things because I've had adults. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, never yeah. seen dads comment. No, no, something. I get tons of hate from like four years. Yeah. And then I get like little kids that are like, hey, I really appreciate your content. Can you talk more about this? Because I want to know. And you have, you've been through it, you know? Yeah. Um, so at the end of the day, it's just like, if you're someone that say wanting to get in this game or like want to like be in the sense that we've done or in your own way, uh, know that it's going to happen, but be prepared for it and know that uh, you're the only way that like, you have complete control on how it's gonna affect you. Ladies and gentlemen, long-winded, selling out, steroids, supplements, what it means to be an influencer, creating content on the internet. The internet's being brand new. Your connection with ours, let's focus on the energy, building each other up, building community around, and turning that energy inward to become a better person. Thanks for coming on, guys. Where can people find you? So you guys can find me on at Stacy Diaz Apodaca on Instagram and Stacy Diaz on YouTube, where I do videos not about fitness but like makeup and you can get ready with me and 
talk to me and then that's it. And videos like this kind of on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. yeah, I do talk. Oh, and Michi the Cheese is my series where if you like micheladas and you like to kick it with your homegirls, I'll be waiting for you. Check them out. Yeah. Now, uh, Nadim Hamidi, uh, he will write in the description so you guys don't have to guess how you spell it. Uh, uh, Nadim Hamidi on YouTube, Disrespect for the Podcast on YouTube as well, and soon to be on iTunes and Spotify. Appreciate you guys. New videos Monday, Thursday. Stay up. Catch you next one. Bye, guys.